Berenstein Bears Show and Tell. This one's by Mike Berenstein. Show and tell time at school should be fun, but it's not when but not when it's show off time for everyone. Sister Bear used to enjoy show and tell at school. It was supposed to be a time when cubs could bring in their special things from home and share them with their classmates. But lately, she felt that show and tell time was just becoming show off time. Everyone seemed to bring in the newest, shiniest, most complicated, most expensive gizmos and gadgets. Get all that. It all started when Millie Bruno brought in a brand new cell phone her parents gave her for her birthday. All the other cubs wanted one too. They marched right home and begged their parents for cell phones. Some parents gave in, but some didn't. The cubs who didn't get one were pretty grumpy about it. This included sister since mama and papa thought she was still too young for a cell phone. Another show and tell was coming up soon. Sister decided to bring in her favorite Barbie doll. It seemed safe, but before it was her turn, her friend Lizzie Bruin stood up. This is my brand new fit and trim super exercise Barbie, said Lizzie proudly. She's the latest thing. She can do jumping jacks, crunches, push-ups, knee bends. I used to play with a regular Barbie doll, but this one is so even better. Poor sister. When it was sister's turn, she hid her old Barbie behind her back and mumbled that she had forgotten to bring anything. At the end of the day, brother joined sister as she gloomily trudged her way home. What's the matter, he asked. Did someone rain on your parade? Someone poured cold water on my Barbie, she replied, and told her tale of show-and-tell woe. Hmm, said brother, thinking it over. Maybe you should try something really different for show-and-tell and stay away from toys and gadgets and things like that. But what else is special enough for show-and-tell, asked sister. Oh, lots of things, said brother. Old family treasures can be very special. What about all the stuff up in our attic? Oh, yeah, said sister. I didn't think of that. There's her attic. When they arrived home, they gave Mama, Papa, Honey quick hugs and then eagerly climbed the stairs to the attic. It was a little dark and spooky up there. Boxes were piled up on top of other boxes. Strange shapes were leaning against other strange shapes. There was certainly a lot of interesting stuff. The cubs began to look through the boxes piled on boxes. They found all sorts of unusual things. They found a gold statue of a bear holding a water vase. She had a clock in her tummy. What about this, asked sister. Mm, brother shook his head. Too silly, he said. What about this, asked sister, and she put on an old moth-eaten great bear war uniform. It hung down to her feet. Brother shook his head. Mmm, it smells funny and it's way too big for you. Wait a minute, said sister. What's this? Behind one of the boxes, she found a big green hoop. Wow, said brother. That's an old twirl hoop Let's give it a try. This is how you use it, exclaimed brother. Holding it around his middle, he tried to twirl it, but he couldn't seem to get the neck. It just fell down around his ankles. Let me try, said sister. She turned out to be a twirl a hoop whiz. This is terrific, she said, twirl a hooping up a storm. This will be perfect for show and tell, said brother. You can give a twirl a hoop demo. You'll start a new fad. And so at the next show and tell, sister brought in the old twirl a hoop from the attic. No one except for teacher Jane had ever seen one before. Sister twirled and twirled. The class loved it. They clapped and cheered. And of course, everyone wanted a turn, but sister was the best. That is until teacher Jane took a shot at it. I haven't tried one of these in years, she said, but I used to be pretty good at it. Well, here it goes. Teacher Jane was pretty good at it. In fact, she was great. She was even better than sister. Go, teacher Jane, go, yelled the class. They made so much noise that Principal Honeycomb came to the class. What on earth? He began sternly, but then he saw the twirl -a hoop. <gasps> a twirl -a hoop, he said. I haven't seen one of those in years. Here, let me have a try. 
As Principal Honeycomb twirled away, Sister realized something important. Things don't necessarily need to be brand new, complicated, or sim uh, expensive to be special. Sometimes the plain and simple, or the old and the forgotten, can be very special indeed. And that's well worth showing and telling about. There you go. Show and tell. So you want to see Rosie? She's eating her dinner. You can probably hear her. Look at her. She's eating. We've got Stanley, so Rosie has to eat in here with me.